Swift and Tips Podcast. How do you decide it? Uh, all, all, all those questions, because I mean, how yeah, there sure. could be a lot, but maybe the, it depends. So, I mean, how do you choose the topics? Because there are a lot of topics that we can learn and the technology right. is moving forward. And I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you decide, I mean, he, if you think, uh, thought about it. So uh, tell us how, how was your process of choosing the right, the that's, right question? That's pretty interesting because ultimately when we you know talked to all the contributors and uh, some of them also reviewed uh, the book uh, we had almost uh, mm -hmm. around 362 questions uh, which were like the best questions according to mm -hmm. you know the all the contrib contributors and including our team because we were just looking forward to 10 top questions okay. that are you know uh, on the top of your head that you think uh, will be the best questions that could that you could ever ask to anyone Uh, who's a who's a candidate uh -huh. and yeah. uh, out of these 362 or 63 questions we had to filter them down to 100 questions because you can maybe have 5000 questions but you cannot incul inculcate all of them in a single book yeah right so to filter mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. down we first yeah. decided what will be the chapters of our book so we have around 16 chapters and okay. all those 16 chapters include 99.9% of the topics that are important to an IS interview. Well, what for, example, for example, you have modularization, right? Uh, that's something which is um, an intermediate okay. sort of thing, not for beginners. Uh, one topic is, for example, mm -hmm. um, we have error handling. There are questions around error handling. Okay. Uh, so these like memory mm -hmm. uh, handling, like how do you handle the memory leaks and everything? There could be a separate section for that. So we had these type of chapters yeah. and for each chapter, we had like 10, 12 questions that we had to filter out, out of that 362 questions. And that particular filtering was done by mm -hmm. the most experienced developer in our team. Uh, so we went with his uh, okay. experience, not his perspective, uh, because he has worked with some great companies in India uh, that are at a scale. And, uh, we believed in in his knowledge when it come, came down to you know filtering down those down those questions okay. so mm -hmm. that was uh, mm -hmm. not really a tough thing to do for us because uh, we already had the best question the cream mm -hmm. of all and uh, out of that cream you just have to you know pick mm -hmm. up that first layer so that you can serve it uh, to your people if you go Right now, to make an iOS interview, probably you already know the answers, <laughs> right? I mean, the questions that you will receive. So it's like, <laughs> throw them away. I sometimes <laughs> feel that yeah, yeah. if, you know, uh, in future, uh, if someday I sit for an iOS interview and if I fail to answer a certain question, then the interviewer will ask me that you are the same guy, like you are the same guy who released the crack in the iOS interview book and you're not able to answer me that question. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm myself scared you, of you know, giving any interviews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you're fine. <laughs> yeah. So and and once you decided, I mean, you you collaborate yeah. with those people and you have everything, all the content ready. How was the? Launch? I think we didn't had all the content ready because we only asked people for the questions, not for the answers along with it. Okay. So we, as a whole okay. team at Swift and Time, worked on all the answers ourselves. Because we wanted that, you know, all the answers are coming from the right source. And if you have multiple sources, then there could be a case of polluting the quality of the book. So we, we worked on mm -hmm. each question. Uh, one step at a time, we took that in that way. And it took almost like... Uh, two and a half months to complete all the answers and getting them reviewed at least once. And once we reviewed okay, everything great. in terms of uh, questions and answers, we decided that it can go for the next uh, review cycle, which is review two. And meanwhile, we mm -hmm. uh, launched the pre-release of the book. So because mm -hmm. we knew that, okay, the book is almost complete. It. Now it needs some more refining. Uh, so we are good to say that we can now pre-release the book. 
so that's how we went with you know okay. planning and going ahead with the launch so pre-release was max of one month period for us we decided to go with the launch in next one month once we start the pre-release so we took the next one month to get the review two done as well as all the corrections mm-hmm. done for that as well and finally came the part where we decided to okay. uh, have a cover for the book so design is last for us in that way <laughs> Oh, okay, so, okay. It, it How was, was that? Uh, <laughs> it, I mean, <laughs> so so we have a designer in our team, and uh, and this guy is not mm-hmm. really that much technical because he mostly design websites. Like his full time is designing websites, uh, but okay. since he's good with design and he like to work okay. with us, so therefore he he's in our team. Uh, so we right. always throw random ideas to him, and then he come up with something that he thinks can really match with what we are trying to. explain to him uh, so we had like six seven samples that mm-hmm. he made and uh, we picked one which we thought was looking good based on a mutual consensus of the team and uh, we didn't put that much time mm-hmm. into deciding these things because um, my funda or you can say mantra is that your core focus should be on where the value exist the value doesn't exist in the book cover mm-hmm. maybe the value mm-hmm. exists in totally. naming the book but not in the book cover definitely <laughs> so we put mm-hmm. more effort into where the value exists so that's why we didn't spend too much time into deciding the design and everything and um, the pre release and the release was a new thing for us because it was our very first product as you already know uh, so that had mm-hmm. few hiccups in between in terms of uh, uh, you know planning the email automation uh planning how should we go ahead with promotions uh what is marketing we had to figure it out ourselves so there were a lot of things yeah. on the table that we were learning on the go and trying to do it in real life as well some worked some didn't work we had our own learnings that we are going to put in the into the next release of the book maybe in next in a few in in the next version uh, that is going to come up uh, this year So mm-hmm. yeah this was uh, our experience mm-hmm. in brief i would say